Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you could please find your seats. Please find your seats so we can get started. All right, I think I'll stay here. It's close to the middle. And I just want to take a minute and thank all the parents, all the students, family and friends, and most of all our student athletes uh, for being here today. So it's a wonderful day. It's an exciting day. Um, it's, it's an exciting day for us as a staff as well. We have the spring signing day right now, and then we will move on to our academic awards nights for 9th, 10th, and 11th graders. So the whole day kind of has a, a full circle feel to it. And parents, uh, I've been where you are as parents of a senior and you start doing all those things for the last time or in this case something unique for the first time uh, it's really exciting it's really emotional um, it's a wild ride so enjoy it and congratulations to you all um, i think most of you know who i am i'm scott cochran principal here at hh dow high school it's a great honor to be here i know our athletic director john streeter would love to be here unfortunately for him he had surgery, so he's laid up at home, but he's thinking about all of you. And he said to me a number of times, this is one of his favorite days on the calendar throughout the school year. So he wants to send his well wishes along to you as well. A couple of housekeeping notes. You know how much the athletic boosters support all of our programs. I know many of you have been very involved with the athletic boosters. They have their cash raffle going on. There are tickets available and paperwork available in the back, back by the windows back there. So when we're done here, if you'd like to swing by, um, you may do that. Uh, there's more information there. If you just need to get information, you can do that as well. And it's a great time to thank the boosters for all the work they do to support our coaches, uh, students, and programs. Also, Ms. Whalen wanted me to remind you that this event is available on uh, the local cable access TV and in the district website as well. So you can catch it online. Uh, if you have family or friends that couldn't see it today, they can watch it online to the district website at our YouTube page there as well. Now, before we get to the students, uh, Ms. Whalen asked me to make a quick announcement. She wants to welcome everybody as well to signing day, and she'd also like to thank our athletic secretary, Vicki Jines, who has worked so hard all these years to put this special event together. Vicki is the one who gets all the cakes. She puts the slideshow together. She hates that I'm talking about her right now. She likes to put the attention on other people. But we're going to pay attention to her for just a moment because she is retiring after this school year. And we just want to take a moment to thank her for all the hard work and dedication she's given to the athletic department. So thank you. her for the last three years. Uh, we have been rebuilding the cheer program since I got here, and Kirsten has been an integral part in that. Uh, she not only pushes herself, but her teammates to keep being their best and pushing themselves to, to create a better cheer team. And uh, I want to thank her for all the effort she's put in these last uh, three years. Um, she was not afraid to put in the hard work. She did that during the season and in the off season, her tumbling improved tremendously. Her stunting skills were always great. Um, and she was such a pleasure to have on the cheer team. Uh, in addition to cheer, Kirsten also participated in softball, tennis, and band, uh, as well as maintained one of the highest GPAs on the cheer team. So Kirsten is a well-rounded athlete and student, and all those things are going to make her a great success at Madonna. And uh, on behalf of myself and the cheer team, we wish you all the best of luck 
go be the best face that Madonna has ever seen. And I can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you, Coach. Uh, while we get set to talk about our next student, Ms. Whalen's going to come take kind of the official picture of the signing. And then there'll be lots of time afterwards for family and friends to come take pictures as well. So to keep things moving along, we'll just take the one picture right now and do all the others at the end. Sound fair? All right. Congratulations. Okay. Next, we have Lauren Van Sumeren. Lauren is headed off to Calvin University to play basketball. And it looks like we have Coach Tyson here to talk about Lauren. Uh, so Lauren is, is somebody that when she walked into our program four years ago, there was never a second in the four years you were questioning if she was giving every ounce of effort she had. Uh, every practice, every game, she is all out effort, all out hustle, um, a great leader. Um, it, it's just all the qualities that you don't even worry about in terms of, yeah, she's a good basketball player. Yes, she does great things on the court, but all of the other things that you need to be a great teammate, all of the things that you need to be a leader and a captain, um, those are the things that she really excels at. Um, I've said this before, Lauren's probably the best leader that we've ever had come through our basketball program because she holds herself accountable, she holds her teammates accountable, and anything less than all-out effort is, is addressed. And it's addressed with her example, it's addressed with her words, and it's the type of leadership of why we are successful. Um, as old players leave, new players come in, there's always that transition of how we do things. And when we have players like Lauren on our team, there's very little that I ever have to say as a coach. She and her teammates take care of that for us. So she is a great example of how we play basketball on the court. She's a great example of how to be a great teammate and a great leader off the court. So uh, Calvin is very, very lucky. They just got somebody that's going to establish a culture of winning and hard work for the next four years. And I can't wait to see what she does. All right, now we get to the Coach Peterson section of the evening. Uh, Coach Peterson is going to come up to talk about three of his football players. And I'll just say all the names at once and then hand off the microphone as he goes and talks about each. So uh, in order, as they're sitting up here, we have Mason Nickel, who's headed to Michigan State, Gavin Fields to Adrian, and Caden Fox, also to Adrian, all from the football team with Coach Matt Peterson. I get to talk about these three guys right here, and we're going to start with Mason, but um, I kind of want to talk about these three guys as a group real quick. Um, so when I think about these three guys, um, some things that they all have in common is their hard work and perseverance. Um, so th them as a, a class, a football class, is um, struggle um, to, to have a lot of victories um, throughout their time in middle school and high school. Um, they were able to um, work hard and persevere, and, and they gave um, me one of the most memorable seasons as, as a football coach um, this past season. So um, those are two, two words that um, describe these three guys really well. All three of them um, worked extremely hard and, um, and showed perseverance. Um, I'm going to start with Mason. Um, so as you can see, Mason, he's, he's pretty well put together. He looks like a football guy. Um, <laughs> And uh, me and Mason had a lot of conversations about um, his desire to play college football, and, and, and he had a lot of hard times in that recruiting process. And uh, I remember at the end of last school year, going into the summer, he's like, hey, coach, I'm not where I'm at in the recruiting process. What can I do? And it's a hard time for, in, in recruiting right now to the transfer portal and all those things. And the biggest thing that we talked about is, you know, he's got all the tools. Um, he's, he's big, he's strong, he's fast, but he's got to put what, he, what he's capable of on film. Um, and Mason wanted to prove a lot of people wrong this year, and, 
he turned out to be one of the most dominant uh, defensive players I've ever coached. Um, so his, his drive, his passion for football um, really showed in his senior year, um, and it, which gave him a lot of opportunities to choose from. And it, it turned really, real quickly after that conversation into a lot of opportunities, and, and ultimately he wants to play at the highest level at Michigan State. And uh, with all those intangibles that he has, he's going to go on to do great things as long as he does all those things that, that helped him to get there. So uh, we're super excited for Mason, and he's going to go do great things. And uh, go green, baby. Uh, our next player that we're going to talk about is Gavin. Um, so something that, that I think about when um, I think about Gavin as a football player is reliable. Um, so he's a kid that worked for everything that he's gotten. Um, he, he had to work harder than a lot of people just to, just to get to where he is. Um, when we talk about our off-season training stuff, he was, he was our MVP of last off-season. Um, when we talk about it as a coaching staff, and he just goes about his business, he does it the right way, um, and that set him up for success his senior year. Um, he's also a guy that had to learn a, a variety of different positions. Um, in order to get onto the field, Gavin, you want to you want to play every single down. You're gonna have to know the slot. You're gonna have to know the outside position. You're gonna have to know everything, right? And so he was able to do that successfully. And again, we could always rely on Gavin to go out and know what his assignment is. Um, and when we needed big play, he was able to do that for us. So he's off to Adrian College uh, to live out his dream there. And again, he does all those things that got him there. He's gonna be successful in whatever he chooses to do. So. I'm super excited for Gavin and um, excited to see what his football future holds for him. So, round of applause for Gavin. <laughs> and last, we have Caden. Uh, um, so, Caden is a super versatile player for us. Um, so, Caden in the recruiting process is kind of a tweener guy. You know, is he is he uh, a bigger guy? Is he a big skill guy? Is he a skill guy? Um, and I think that versatility is really going to um, help him at the next level because he's had an uh, experience playing a lot of different positions for us. Um, he's done everything we've asked of him. Um, he's tried every single position. He plays on special teams and, and in some games he never leaves the field. Um, and he does it with a good attitude. Um, he's a hard worker. He's a gym rat. Um, he's getting really strong. And uh, with that versatility, I think he's going to um, have a lot of success at the next level. Um, just like these two guys here, you continue to work hard, you continue to persevere, you continue to be coachable, you're going to be successful at the next level as well. So, super proud of all three of these guys. Um, like I said, um, they, they moved our program forward, um, and, and I'm super proud of them and super excited to see what kind of athletes they are at the next level, more importantly, what kind of people they're going to be in the next 10 years. So, super proud of you guys. Congratulations. pictures, uh, it might be a good time to recognize the wisdom of our athletic director, John Streeter, for scheduling today when he knew it was going to be a rainstorm outside. Can't have any spring sports games today anyways. It's a perfect day to have the, uh, the signing day. Like any good athlete, we're going to pivot. We're going to come to Alex. So Alex Kinney. Alex is headed to Northwood to play lacrosse. We have a speech from her coach, Mackenzie Lawler. So first, let's give a round of applause for Alex. And Coach Lawler could not be here tonight, so I'm going to step in. I, I promise I'm not texting like I yell at my son for being on social media when we're trying to talk. So I'm going to read uh, the speech from Alex's coach. As the coach of Alex Kinney for multiple club seasons, I can confidently say that she will be a foundational player on the women's lacrosse team at Northwood University. Wherever she competes, Alex is a team first player who fosters strong relationships and is the glue that keeps the team focused on the team goals. She has worked incredibly hard to develop her skills and has never shied away from a challenge. She's always wanting to compete with the best. This attitude and dedication to her team will be essential as Northwood starts its women's lacrosse team from 
the ground up. Whether it was at GV summer camps or through competitive travel across, Alex was always a pleasure and a favorite to have around. What I love and will most uh, remember about Alex is her ability to make every practice fun and to make everyone around her smile. If you aren't loving what you do, then no team will reach its potential. Alex will bring that energy and this positivity to the team at Northwood, and I cannot wait to see what she and they accomplish in her four years there. In her four years there. Congratulations, Alex. Next, we're in the hope, we're going to have hope, we're in the hope section of the evening. Uh, we're going to talk about Noah Weiss, who's headed to hope to swim. We have his coach, Claire Hallamar, yes, here to talk about Noah. Congratulations, Noah. I first want to start by congratulating all the athletes that are here. Um, I've had a lot of you both in the pool and in the classroom too, and it's so nice to see you guys get recognized for all of your amazing things. So congratulations to all the athletes up here. Noah. So I've had the privilege to coach Noah for about four years now, ever since I moved to the area and started coaching. And it's really easy to look online and look at Noah's progress and see how he took strides and bounds between freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, and on. Um, what's not highlighted on those is Noah's attitude, adversity, and leadership. Noah started swimming for us and swam completely different events than what he was recruited for. And every single year, he looks at our team, he looks at the coaching staff and says, what do you need me to do? Let me do it. And every year, from freshman year, sophomore year, junior and senior year, he has made a change in swim events that were good for our team. What none of the stats will show is what type of person it takes to be vulnerable and just branch outside and do those events. And it is always so amazing and reassuring as a coach to see how we can have an athlete that no matter what, they'd be willing to do anything. And Noah uh, is just such a wonderful young man, watching him grow from a small little senior, he's obviously sitting down, you can't see, he's well over six feet tall, um, from talking him here to now here, um, and watching him grow not only as an athlete, uh, but as a human has been a really, really good privilege for us. Um, the Dow High Swim Program will really, really miss Noah and his leadership, and I am so excited to watch you go to hope and grow as an athlete and grow as a human. So they're very, very lucky to have you. Tabor and Holly picked very well. So I'm proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, Noah. You know, you hear that common theme about the attitude of our student athletes who are headed off to play at college, um, how much uh, their skill and talent on the field matters, but also their dedication to hard work, and how they'll be great teammates, and that's really, really important, but a great lesson. We're going to stay uh, stay at Hope. We have Emmy Sower, who's headed to Sour, excuse me, I'm sorry. You know you're going to do it at some point, you're going to mispronounce somebody's name, I'm sorry, Emmy. Emmy Sauer, who's headed to Hope also to swim, and which, is it Coach Mallory? Yeah, or Coach, right where are you? Oh, there you are. Coach Mallory is going to talk about Emmy. So, Emmy had an awesome four years of swimming at Dow High. She was the 2023 Saginaw Valley Swimmer of the Year, a four-time first-team All-Valley Swimmer, a nine-time Saginaw Valley Champion, and a three-time All-State Swimmer her sophomore, her junior, and her senior year. She's also a three-time Dow High Varsity Record Holder in the 100 Butterfly, the 200 Medley Relay, and the 200 Freestyle Relay. She is also an academic All-State Swimmer. One of the best things about Emmy is that she is an extremely versatile swimmer, which is going to help her tremendously in the college level. She is an accomplished swimmer in the butterfly, freestyle, and backstroke, and she will always be known to us as one of the greatest relay swimmers for the Dow High girls swim team. She has been part of breaking at least nine relay records at Dow High, and is part of five of the six varsity and pool records. 
Emmy's amazing ability of swimming very fast on relays will help her succeed at the college level. It was such a pleasure being Emmy's coach, and we look forward to watching her swim at Hope. Emmy, we wish you well, and we know you will succeed as a student athlete at Hope College. story here with Aaron Murphy, who's going to Notre Dame for rowing. Aaron's a great personal athlete. She's going to be there to row and also here to talk about her as Coach Mallory, because of course Aaron was a very successful swimmer here at Dow High as well. So. <clears throat> Erin excels in swimming at Dow High. She was a four-time first-team All-Valley swimmer, a two-time All-State swimmer, and won five Saginaw Valley titles. She also holds varsity records in the 100 brushstroke, the 200 medley relay, and the 200 freestyle relay. Erin also excels in the classroom. She is an academic All-State and an academic All-American swimmer. Once Erin started rowing, it was a perfect fit for her. A lot of this was because of her swimming background, and vice versa, rowing helped her in swimming. About halfway through her junior year, Erin became one of the mentally strongest athletes we have ever coached, and she really started to excel in swimming. This mental toughness will help her in rowing, and the physical strength that she has gained from rowing helped her tremendously in swimming. We are so happy and proud of Erin's accomplishments. We know the University of Notre Dame is gaining a great athlete, but even more importantly, an awesome young woman. Congratulations, Erin. You know, we're all from somewhere, and probably many of us in the room have teams that we root for, whether it's on a Saturday football day or for basketball or any other sport. And I'm always reminded of days like these as uh, we have our own children or our own students that head off to college. All of a sudden, we become fans of so many more teams. So uh, it's, it's quite exciting to see all the different schools represented uh, here today. So congratulations. Uh, that's exciting. We'll all have new teams to root for. Well, now we're moving to the very fast section of the uh, evening as we move to our track and cross-country athletes. And we're going to start off with Colin McGregor. Colin is headed to Grand Valley State University for cross country and track. And we have Coach Gary Laubert here to talk about Colin. Congratulations, Colin. This is my first uh, signing day here at Dow High School, and I'm so happy to be here. Uh, really hard to follow all those great athletes and great coaches and all the words that were said about them, but I can tell you one thing for starters about Colin is uh, as difficult, difficult as it may be to follow all of those great stories, uh, Colin makes it very easy. Um, right away in the, in the summer we had some talks and I saw amazing things in him. I've watched him from, from afar the last couple of years and knew he was an outstanding uh, athlete, but now I got to experience what kind of a young man he's become. He's a great leader, he listens, he learns, he tries to apply what he's learning to his skills on the track and on the cross country course and I think he's realizing some really big achievements as he continues to grow as a runner. Um, I have a little bit of a bias uh, where he's going to Grand Valley being a Laker myself, but uh, even with that bias set aside, I can tell you for a fact that he's going to a school that he'll get a world-class education at, as well as one of the top track and field cross country colleges in the whole country. So I see his incredible range where he's comfortable on the track as a sprinter and he can run well under 16 minutes on the cross-country course. Uh, that range is going to take him so far as a track and field and cross-country athlete, and uh, I'm excited to see what Coach, Coach Baltus does with the, the vast and broad talents that Colin brings to the table. But even more so as we know we're sending these young people on to get, a, get that world-class education. Uh, I know that he's going to become, if he stays with engineering, he's going to become a fantastic engineer. He has a great mind for that, I can tell already. And, I'm just grateful to have been a part of, of this journey, even if it's only been for coming up quickly on a year. So good luck, Colin. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me here today to talk a little bit and, and let me know what you need in the future, OK?
All right. Well, like I said, we're all from somewhere, so go blue. Uh, now we're to the University of Michigan portion of the evening. Uh, and, but most importantly, more importantly than that, we have two wonderful ladies to talk about. So first, Emma Thompson, who's headed to the University of Michigan for track, and we have Coach Matt Peterson, I believe, yes, back to talk some more. All right, so uh, this is my uh, fourth year getting to coach uh, Emma. Um, her nickname is No Chill because she's, uh, she's a little feisty sometimes. And uh, um, I want to talk about the first time we really had a, a, a serious conversation, and it was goal setting. Um, and she told me, hey, coach, this is what I want to do. And I kind of chuckled a little bit because I was talking about short-term goals, but she was telling me her, her high school career goals, and her goal was to run in the 56s in the, at the state and win a state title in the 400. And, uh, and so we talked about, um, you know, let's start with short-term goals and, and chip away at that long-term goal. And uh, she is the most competitive kid that I've ever met in my life, coaching-wise. Um, and uh, she's been a pleasure to coach. Um, she's set just about every single sprint record uh, at the school, 4x1, 4x2, 4x4, uh, and also the open four. Um, and she's still got goals out ahead of her for this year. Um, even more importantly than, um, obviously, her speed and, and those things is her work ethic. Um, she, she runs, um, obviously, in the spring, um, but she trains year-round for that success. Um, and there's been a lot of um, hard times, a lot of tears that have gone into this journey. And I know that this is, uh, this is, this is her dream to run at the University of Michigan. Um, and I couldn't be more happy for her, couldn't be more proud of her um, as her coach. Um, and, and I've learned a lot by coaching Emma um, for myself as a coach. And, and it's kind of cool to kind of grow together over, over those four years. Um, and uh, super proud of her. Um, she's also become a leader um, and starting to think about, well, how can I help out these other kids? Um, how can I uh, kind of pay it forward to the other kids to, to help them along? Um, and it's, again, it's just been an honor to coach her. I know she's going to go off to do great things, and um, this will be the first time I ever get to say this, but uh, go blue. <laughs> Athletes have certainly earned that, uh, but are you willing to put the work in when no one's looking? That's what that's what gets you up here, right? Absolutely. Okay. Last but not least, Ms. Katie Watkins. Katie is also headed to the University of Michigan for cross country and track, and we have Coach Jamie Ruska here to talk about Katie. Congratulations, Katie. We are obviously super proud of everyone up and down this line. It is not an easy task um, to get to your spot right now. Um, and so I just want to take a minute and celebrate that, but I really want to ce celebrate Katie. I'm so excited to be up here and be able to celebrate Katie's huge accomplishment. This is a goal that I know that she's had since um, I first met her as an eighth grader, coming in asking who she should run with on my team for the post-regional race. Um, which she clobbered um, and won, and then uh, came on to our team. Um, and through that process of the last four years, she's worked incredibly hard, um, but she's come across some trials and some difficult times, um, and she hasn't let that stop her. It's frustrated her. Um, I think all of us sometimes, right? But she's really become a student of the sport. She's become a student of herself. Uh, she's really looked at how can I trust myself in this process? How can I trust my coaching team in this process? How can I trust the process of improving? Um, so over those years, over the last four years, I have watched Katie turn into a leader. 
She uh, was a senior captain for us this year, and she really has learned how to encourage others, set a standard for the team, um, and, and push other people forward. I've also watched her grow as an athlete. Um, she had an incredible PR, personal record, um, this season uh, that really opened the door for some incredible opportunities. And that's why we're here today, which is, which is just awesome. Um, and she's also just grown as a human. And I love to talk to Katie and see all the things that are happening in her life. She has all these other things beyond running um, that make her a well-rounded person. And that's lovely. So I'm so excited to celebrate Katie up here. Um, I'm so sad to see you go. Our team will be a little less without you. Um, but I'm excited to cheer you on. And this will be the only time that I will wear a blue and yellow M. <laughs> Uh, just so we're clear. <laughs> Congratulations, Katie. All right, we'll go through all the names again, and then we'll do one big round of applause for everyone. So congratulations to Alex, Kirsten, Lauren, Mason, Gavin, Caden, Noah, Emmy, Aaron, Colin, Emma and Katie, congratulations all. Well, we all know today, if, it, if you don't have pictures to post somewhere, then it didn't happen. So this is a great time. Before the cakes are cut, this is a great time to take pictures, so please do that. And then we will uh, cut the cake, and the rest of the time is more informal. So enjoy, and congratulations, all.